Hey YouTube friends and family. How's everybody doing? Everybody holding up? Weather's been crazy. I don't know about most of you, but it's been hot, hot, hot here. I mean really hot. Can't even sleep at night. It's so hot. We did get some fans. I joked last night with Mama. She said, I just can't get cool. And I said, don't worry, Mom, we're all in a convection oven. And that's how it felt. It was that hot. All the same things are going good. My garden's growing like crazy. The new little chicks are getting big. We didn't use an incubator or a brooder. We did it the old-fashioned way. Mama did it. Mama sat on those eggs, and boy, I didn't know a chicken could growl. Did you guys know a chicken could growl? I went to try and lift her up, count to see how many eggs were still there, or if they were ready to hatch. She growled at me. I backed up and said, it's okay, Mama. It's okay. And they hatched the very next day. Oh, it's awesome. So things are going pretty good. The fruit trees, apricot tree was packed. Absolutely packed. And I canned every one. I did apricots, apricot preserves, apricot butter. Oh yeah, good stuff. And apricot syrup. And then none of them went to waste, not even the ones that had fallen to the ground. We were able to save them all. The apples, three apple trees are loaded. Poor walnut trees are so overridden, overloaded with fruit, or with nuts, that their limbs are hitting the ground. I've had to prop them up with two-by-fours to help the tree. What a blessing. And it couldn't have come at a better time. You know, I've had, uh, well, I haven't even actually told you guys about it yet, only a few dear friends that I speak with on the phone know about it, but the boys were horsing around downstairs and they were uh, moving furniture and broke the water main that comes into the house. Certainly did. I had a flood. The whole basement was a swimming pool. Sad thing was, it hit, oh, so much of my stored food. My rice, my flowers, my sugar, all these big bags that you buy, the great big bags. Terrible. I had asked everybody to please find pallets, please build pallets, do something to help get that stuff off, off the ground or off the floor. And, oh, we will, we will. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. And then you know how life is. You get busy doing other things and you forget about it. And that's exactly what I did. It just went to the wayside until the flood. What a mess. And what a loss. It was terrible. There's absolutely no way that I can explain it or describe it. It was pretty, pretty bad. Heartbreaking heartbreaking. I, I cried like a baby. I really did. I was so upset. But other than that, we got that cleaned up, and uh, what an experience. What a lesson. What a lesson. I happen to have the pellets now. So eventually, I'll start getting the bags again and putting them back on the pellets. Raised a little higher than it probably needs to be, but you know, how safe can you be? Oh, what times we're in. How about all these wars? Yeah. Not good. Not good at all. And trying to talk about it in chats. Who? Who people's feathers are ruffling? I don't know why everybody wants to turn it into religion. I don't accept that. I don't believe in religion. I don't. I do believe in our universal creator. You've heard me say that before. I believe in the love and the earth and, and being part of each other. I believe in God's law. What he says. 
not what man's ink has put on paper. I really don't. I know that there's some truth. I discern, and that's what we're supposed to do is discern. And in the discerning, we're supposed to realize that man is flawed. The human race is flawed. We have this thing called ego, and many people fall to greed and ill thinking and ill ways and control and that's caused a lot of problems a lot of hand-me-down information that absolutely is not true absolutely is not true I want all of you to know that your universal creator God loves you Yahshua loves you and that's a fact we're going through these times for whatever reason it's not for us to question what it is for us to do is to work together and to help one another and be part of one another to make better your neighbor's life not to be self-centered and egotistical to where you think you know it all you're the best you're the greatest you 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 the me 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 we're not supposed to do that we really are supposed to love one another be kind to each other work together care about your neighbor do what we can to make this world a better place for all and time's running out my friends my family it certainly is Fukushima is a demon in wait and it's spewing poison every day across our world not just the United States not just America or not just Japan it's worldwide it's affecting everybody just like these wars senseless absolute senseless wars they make no sense live and let live and I'm gonna say it to hell with the borders just stay home mind your own business and let the other guy live too. Let the children laugh. Let them play. Stop the tears in mother's eyes. I've said in a few comments, and I really mean it. I watch these newsreels of the bombs hitting, of the, the city darkened because the lights are off, the air raid sirens, sirens screaming through the darkness and then the explosion and I wonder I sincerely wonder what lullaby the mama is singing to her baby who is so frightened and I ask myself do my brothers and sisters in America realize that that could be us at any time if we continue to condone these evil biddings these evil doers and their actions and a corrupt government and corrupt governments worldwide if we continue to condone all of this what do you think the outcome is going to be where do you think we're going to be I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again and I've been put down. People are really knocking me left and right for sharing love and hugs and jelly beans. But that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to love one another, and I love each and every one of you. No, I haven't met you face to face. Most of you block your faces. I don't even know what you look like. But I do know that I love you. I sincerely do and I don't want you to cry I don't want you to be afraid I don't want you to go hungry or thirsty I want your gardens to grow your home home to be safe your children to laugh I want to see you prosper I want to see you the richest person in the world because you've got all the love you need and that's the richest we need to see is love I can't stress it enough and I mean every one of those hugs I certainly do 
and I will continue to give them to each and every one of you, just like I do the strangers I meet on the street, the people I meet in the store, and I walk up and hug them. And if you think I don't, ask my family. I love everybody. I do. We've been lied to. We've been deceived. We've been misled. It's not about a book. It's not about their book, and their book, and their book, and their book. It's about your heart. Reach inside yourself. I told you two years ago to look in the mirror. Walk in and look in the mirror and look into your own eyes and say, Who am I really? You're a child of your Creator. You were created in your Creator's image to love and to learn to get past all of these things. The wars, no war not in my name. No war not in my name. No tears in a child's eye. No fear before they go to sleep. No hunger in their belly. No mama's crying, no daddy's crying. The weeping and the sobbing at the bombs, the destruction, the blood running down the streets. Have we not evolved past this? To hell with the governments. To hell with each one of them. Look what they've done. Look what they're doing. Don't look at the people here in this community as being wrong or looking for fault in them. Take your eyes off of the people here trying to figure out the problems and look at where these problems come from. It's time for us to evolve past the nonsense, the picking on each other, the fighting, the bickering. It's so contagious. All these wars are putting everybody on edge. Stop. Stop. Love each other. Now while we're at it, and I've got a few minutes here, I know you don't like long videos. And it's hard for me. I've tried to say things. My videos get too long and I just stop. That's why I haven't posted. But I have to tell you something. And it's proven. Even doctors in the medical field know. Prayer is real. I know many of you say, well, I pray and it never gets answered. I pray God doesn't hear me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, your Creator hears your prayers. Not always do you get an answer. And there's a reason for that. Maybe it's not right for you. Or maybe you're not praying right. There is a special way to pray. It's beyond just talking. In the Lost Gospel, of Thomas and in the Holy Bible it explains to us about praying it does and as I said there are truths in those books all of them each book has a truth the way you pray is you think the thought I want to peace in our world. I want peace in our world. Think it. Think it. Believe it. Feel it. Have the passion. Mean it. And then get that feeling, the feeling in your gut, the feeling that becomes one with the thought. When those two come together, when they come, the thought and the feeling come together as one, then you say to the mountain, move, and the mountain will move. Take a string of Christmas lights, my friends, my family. Undo all the bulbs. Big, long string. Take it into the darkest place you can take it. One by one, light up one 
bulb. The first bulb will bring some light. Just a little. The next bulb brings a little more light. A little more. The next bulb, more light. And next, more. And then pretty soon, more and more. And before long, you have no darkness. Because darkness cannot survive the light. It cannot. Darkness cannot survive the light. However, the light can destroy and kill the darkness. So one prayer, two prayer, three prayer, four prayer, coming together with the same thought and the same feeling and making it happen. Speaking it into existence. Speaking it into existence. Don't ever pray for evil things or greedy things. You'll find very quickly that it backfires. Only goodness and sincere love. Yes, we have the key. We have the power. Through our Creator, we were gifted that power by our Creator. We certainly were. And when you get the thought and the feeling together, you'll know it. You'll know it. It's an electricity and energy that goes through your body like nothing you've ever felt before. You remember the flutters you used to get in your stomach when your mama or daddy went over a hill real quick and dropped and your belly'd come up? Or maybe a carnival ride? Or your first kiss? It's beyond that. The thought and the feeling together make it happen. You get the thought, the feeling together, and speak it. I love you all, great big hugs, and a whole bunch of love. They're all real. Every hug that I give is real. I sincerely love you all. I'll catch you guys later. Be safe. Be wise. Prepare, just in case, because we could be the next Gaza, the next Israel, Afghanistan, Iraq, Ukraine, Syria, Libya, the insanity. Speak it. Love you all. Great big hugs.